Hey guys, in this video, we're going to talk about anuria. Anuria means that there is no urine excretion by the kidney and there is an empty bladder for 24 hours. Another term for decreased urine excretion is oliguria. Oliguria means that the urine excretion is less than 200 to 400 milliliter in 24 hours. The kidney needs to excrete more than 200 to 400 milliliter in 24 hours to evacuate toxins from the body. Less than this amount leads to accumulation of toxins inside the body. Etiology of anuria. Etiology of anuria is divided to three parts, pre-renal, renal, and post-renal. For the renal etiology, it is conditions like shock that affect the renal excretion of urine because shock decreases the blood pressure that affects the pressure in the glomerulus leads to decreased excretion of urine for the renal etiology it is conditions that damage or affect the renal epithelium leading to decreased urine excretion like tubular necrosis post renal causes like bilateral sudden complete renal or ureteric obstruction that suppresses the renal excretion of urine. It may be bilateral stone impaction in the ureters or the kidneys or unilateral but the other kidney is congenitally absent or reflex suppression. Clinical picture of anuria. For the pre-renal and renal causes the clinical picture is the symptoms of the cause, like shock or tubular necrosis. Post-renal, the clinical picture for post-renal causes is divided to three stages. The first stage is stage of onset. In this stage, the stone is impacted in the kidney or the ureter, leading to severe pain and ureteric colic. The stone may ulcerate the mucosa, leading it to bleed. In this stage, the urine decreases dramatically, eventually to reach anuria and stoppage of the urine excretion. The second stage is the stage of tolerance. In this stage, the pain decreases, and there is significant increase in the blood urea. That indicates that there is a destruction of the kidney. The third stage is manifestation of uremia. Investigation. For the investigation, we introduce a catheter to the, to the urinary bladder to exclude acute retention of urine. We do plain x-ray to see if there is any stones or fibrosis. Ultrasonography to show distended bladder. Cystoscopy to see if there is an impacted stone in the orifice or if there is congested hemorrhagic ureteric meatal orifice in the intramular part of the bladder. Treatment of course, the treatment for the pre-renal and renal causes is the treatment of the condition if it is shock or renal tubular necrosis. For treatment of calculus and urea, first we relieve the case by emergency treatment, then we need to do a treatment for the stone extraction. For emergency treatment, first we do a bilateral ureter catheter to dislodge the stone and remove the obstruction.
or we do a precutaneous nephrostomy. Under ultrasound control, we introduce a nephrostomy tube inside the pelvic collicular system. We introduce the tube at the site of pain and tenderness, or at the site of stone shown in the X-ray, or we do cystoscopy. After relief and the blood urea return to normal, we do the treatment for the stone.